Hey folks, it's Bill from Little White Dory on Sunday evening after a kind of nice day. It's uh, probably about 45, maybe a little lower. You can hear the wind, you can see the wind dancing in the tree here. We've got some chickens, one of these three girls who think laid an egg today. I'm not 100% sure which one. I don't think it's one of the Buff Orpingtons. And I don't think it was the little guy, Hootie. But somebody laid an egg today. We're happy. Two. We got two today. Zippy, the white leghorn over there, just keeps cranking them out. You want eggs? Get white leghorns. Or leghorns, as they say. Alright, so today we got some progress. We uh, put a windscreen up on this side, which is my south side. Um, it might make a little bit for a greenhouse effect in there, but. You might be able to see that there's a good size opening right here by the plexiglass and I'm not closing in the other sides to be this tight. But um, I ran the uh, plastic that I had for covering the greenhouse uh, gardens. It's only I think a four mil. But you can see it's opaque it's enough, you know, the sun will get in there on a rainy day, it'll keep the wind uh, the rain out. If it's a really windy day, it could be a problem because I don't have really anything on the the east, southeast side. Meaning I just have the end cap of the uh, of the, the run. So if wind is coming in this direction, it can fill. I'm hoping then that the roof would lift and that the bungee cords on the one side holding the roof would flex. It's a lot of hoping on uh, flexible design. But I've got the plastic up. It'll give me a little bit of relief to know that if it's raining out that they're in, they have at least a decent sized dry place to be and I don't have to let them out at all. Same should be said for, for uh, snow. This will keep the majority of my snow problems to a minimum between the fence on the one side and this plastic roof. And then we'll see how much the roof can hold. It's again made to flex, take the weight, bend, and then once the weight comes off then it'll go back to the way it is now. Alrighty folks, that's just a quick update. It's, uh, I don't know what time it is. It's time to go kick up the, the feet and maybe watch some YouTube. These girls are just about ready to go to bed, I would imagine. Let's see if I can hold my phone and read my watch. Yeah, 4.40. I'd say this is about the time when they're going to start heading in. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if I look in and see that Zippy and Sydney are no longer there. Yeah, Sydney's gone. Sydney called it a day. So did Chica. And Luna, where are you? Yeah, Luna's here, didn't she? No, Luna's gone too. <laughs> so the, everybody but Sydney. So this is now the opportunity for the smaller girls to come in and get their dinner. And you'll see, it's sort of systematic. You know, the bigger girls will come by, the little girls will move. But they get their, their bellies filled just before they go to bed. That way they have something to digest, something to metabolize overnight. They'll probably get a last sip of water. I'm sure that was where uh, that one just went over to. Behind the water tank. Alrighty girls. I'm going to have to use two hands here to cut them into the coop. So I can go inside for the day. It's been a pleasure playing with you. Rework the uh, security gate here, and hopefully we'll be able to keep these girls inside their coop and run, and the hawks out, and the snow out. I mean, this is right now pretty windy, so if we can handle this, I think we're going to be good. I don't think I'd want it on there in a hurricane. I'd probably just take it all off. Alrighty, girls, have a good night. We got a new way to undo their door. It's up here because I reworked this. Good night. Come on. Yeah, time to go in. That's it. <laughs> They're funny. Alright, so that's that. They're all in. Have a good night. Enjoy your new uh, scene. Bye bye, girls.